Um, and, you know, we're, we're talking a lot of Milan for good reason, obviously. Uh, Juventus, uh, you know, before the game, many people were questioning, you know, Sarri and his and whether this team is good enough with him there. And Allegri said, look, I, I built this team so they could have success for years to come after I leave. Um, and I believe he's right. Uh, mm-hmm. and, I, and I don't, and obviously they're going to win the Scudetto this year. No brainer. I mean, I, I, with the results that we're going to get to the later bit later, uh, Juventus is going to win another Scudetto despite the win here. They're going to, they're celebrating right now. They're happy about this. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Juventus, I think they're, they're playing at another level and they have what, and I talked about this when I was on Uncle Sharma's uh, YouTube uh, recently and I talked about this like you know the, the depth that Juventus has is ridiculous compared to everybody else in Syria. Nobody else can match them in the depth department. Lazio yeah. is the closest to matching them skill level on the pitch starting 11, but when you go to the bench, Juve can pull another 11 out almost and and nobody else can do that. Yeah. Um it's it's unfair. And you know yeah. there's a question that Anthony uh from uh Inter Worldwide, he says, you know, I feel embarrassed as an Inter fan that the league can't take advantage of the inconsistent Juve. Uh, they will leave today with a defeat, and it did nothing to damage them. A dark morning for Lazio and Inter because they're officially out of this Scudetto hunt. Yeah, they got, I, bigger, they got bigger things to worry about too, by the way, Lazio and Inter, but we'll get to that. I think when Juve take a step back from this, when Saudi takes a step back from it, when the team takes a step back from this game, as great as this is for Milan supporters and Milan fans, I don't think Juve is going to be terribly bothered by what happened here. I think yeah. they're going to be disappointed in the manner with which they dropped a 2 0 lead. Yeah. But I think that's going to shake off pretty quickly. I mean, they're going to look at the table and they're going to realize they still have a seven point lead. Um, that um, they did not field their best team. That this thing clicks when Dybala and Ronaldo are on the pitch together. Yeah. The defense is better when Delict is partnering Bonucci and not Rugani. Exactly. Um, you know, so there's a lot of facets here. Uh, you know, with Juventus for why they're not going to be terribly bothered by what happened with this game. The two people who, the two groups that are going to be the loudest are going to be the Paul Dybala camp being like, look, you guys need us. You need him for us to do well. He's he's one of our best players. We need him there. And also the Delict camp, people who are saying he is good. He's getting better. He is, he is a great partner for, for Bonucci and for that defense in general. And not having him there caused four goals to happen and maybe no goals would have happened. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, so those camps are going to be loud, but yeah, Juve overall, their fans, um, they're going to be happy about just being another Scudetto win, and maybe they're not happy because they they get no competition now. You know, every year right. there's a team that's close, and then they capitulate at the end. But indeed, indeed. So I don't think they're going to be terrible. Like I said, don't think that Juve is terribly bothered by what happened here. So, um, but a great win for Milan, an important win, a three points that they probably maybe didn't factor for in terms of their hunt for reaching top six and, uh, you know, securing a place in the Europa League next season. But here we are. They've got it. Uh, Juventus still seven points clear because Lazio earlier today uh, traveled to Lecce. um, And this time, there's no excuse. They had everybody.